like snow When it falls in the wind, you know And you, oh, you, ooh. You say you wanna dance You're wary, you know You'll end up in the wrong hands And you're having fun Why don't you show your friends of starts and stops, of failures and accomplishments that are scattered along the way, they're there to help strengthen you, to make you wiser and better prepare you for the next step of your journey. However, if things don't go, come together. Game development. Tyler Dean Guard. This is my great friend, Armando Perez. Nice. He is helping me out. This is my sister. Nice. Jay, this is my um, good friend, Armando. And Armando, this is my dad. Hey, nice nice to meet you. so wonderful to meet you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you for all your help. No problem. Good to see you, bro. Thank you for making it, bro. Oh, this is... This is John. You know her? All right, guys, so I am getting ready for my interview with Dr. Webb. Um, he, he is an Iraq war veteran turned orthopedic surgeon. Um, he has a career, he has a new series on his channel entitled Careers in Medicine, where he interviews a lot of the hot careers that are out there in medicine, not just being a doctor. Um, so we're gonna discuss what it's like being an ICU nurse in the Air Force. So that is what I'm getting ready for now. Um, and so I'm going to just kind of vlog a little bit on the back side um, from my phone just so you guys can see a little bit of what the meeting's like. Um, and then of course, this will be on his channel as well. Um, All right guys, so I'm just getting set up. I'm waiting for him to send me the code so I can go ahead and log into Zoom, which is where we're having, having our meeting. Please excuse my workspace. Um, this is where I have orders that I need to finish packing to go out. Um, so right now I got my water bottle here ready and I'm just waiting on him to send me the invite code so I can join in and we can have our little FaceTime nursing experience to be able to have that comparison. And then um, I know it sounds cliche, but I definitely wanted to feel like I was doing more in the nursing field than just being a civilian nurse. I wanted to have that experience that I could help wounded warriors. I could help like drag soldiers off the battlefield like I had this idea that I was going to do so much for my country. So um, just family tradition and then my own like internal drive. Okay, awesome. Uh, tell us about that transition from nursing school to becoming a military nurse and officer. What is required uh, and kind of the steps that you took to uh, reach that? Um, okay, it is a very long process. So of course, um, nursing school in Pretty challenging, or you know, people always give the Air Force a hard time about being so easy compared to the Army and the Marines. So how is that, that uh, officer? What is the name of the course that you required to take? It's called officers. Right. Uh, um, so that course is um, it's interchangeable. It's caught. Good morning. I'm still off today. Um, I am still on my holiday break. Excuse my bed. I have not made it up yet. Um, I just had to run out and get. Yes, I'm back. I had to run out and get some more tape so I can finish packing up some orders. And I'm going to run and get these out to the post office really quick. Um, my goal is for the ones that I'm getting out today for them to make it to their owners by Christmas. So that is what I'm up doing currently. You're having fun. What if it never ends? I'm like a sincerity But you don't care at all And this booze, this cigarette's trying to take me home Falling in love just a million times
have everything ready to go. So I have a total of six orders that are going to be going out in this shipment. Get my purse. And I am on my way to the post office, like I said. And then I'm going to go to Marshall's. I'm probably going to get something to eat while I'm out. It is it's five minutes to one in the afternoon. I'm going to get lunch after I do all this. And then I'll come back. Um... So yeah, I really don't have too much planned for today besides this, and so that's all. But I'm so glad to be back vlogging, like actually on my camera with my new lens and everything. So yeah, um, let's go. Hi guys, I'm back. So I dropped my packages off and then I went to Michael's to get some more like shipping supply type things. And then I went to Chick-fil-A. Polynesian sauce. Where's Bestie at when you need her? Somebody is really stalking me for my food. Look at this. I'm being stalked. Literally waiting for a crumb. Like waiting for just a legit crumb to drop. Hey guys. Back at the kitchen table. Every time you see me, I'm not always eating, trust me. But I just wanted to come have a little snack. I got some cheesecake. Got this yesterday from the Cheesecake Factory. So the only two pieces um, of cheesecake that I like from the Cheesecake Factory are the original without strawberries and then the chocolate mousse. Bomb.com. I'm still on uh, my holiday break. I don't even go back to work till Wednesday night. So I am chilling, straight chilling. It's been really good having this break because I feel like like a lot of times I'm always working, like working the week, working on the weekends, like on call. So having like this little holiday break was really good. This guy getting bomb, son. So I'm curious as to what everybody's holiday plans are. Let me know in the comment section. I'll be working the 23rd. 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, night shift of course, and then I'll be off 25th, 26th, and 27th, but I'll be on call. So that's kind of my holiday plans. I don't have any plans for New Year's, um, but then after New Year's I'll be going out of town for about eight days up on Arizona. So I'm pretty excited about that. I love Arizona. Phoenix in particular, it's beautiful. 
I almost got choked laughing at my friend's message on Snapchat. He said, I'm dying at your new two videos, subtle disclaimers on fleek, DMs on fleek, laugh out loud. <laughs> So I just got off the phone with my grandmother. Um, I'm still sitting down here. I like this particular spot downstairs. Um, so I really don't have too much to talk about anymore for the evening. Um, I sent my orders off and I went to Michael's, like I said, to get some more packing supplies. Um, I've got some new things on Etsy for you guys to check out if you haven't already. And like I said, I'm still on my holiday break. I don't go to work till Wednesday night. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to head upstairs. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to find something on Netflix in a little bit. I've been on, like, this kid movie flow. If you guys have not seen Zootopia, a.k.a. Zootropolis, they renamed it for the U.K., um, check it out. It's literally, like, the cutest movie I have ever seen by Disney. And I'm not a Disney fan. I almost despise Disney really but that was literally one of the cutest movies i have ever seen to the point where i'm probably gonna watch it again um so yeah i'm gonna go find something on netflix in a little bit i just had a little bit of my cheesecake and never eat it all because i'm a big fan of portion control um come on what are you doing so yeah like i'm a big fan of portion control so i didn't eat it all i still have like another half piece left um, so that'll be like a snack for tomorrow. So yeah, um, I'm about to go upstairs. Take my water with me and my phone. Let's go. You guys, I'm in clothing and sales and I'm trying to find a cardigan or like a sweater for my dress blues. And this stuff is really expensive. Like whoever said uniforms was cheap was a liar. I don't know if I want the sweater or if I want the jacket. I think I'm gonna get the jacket. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, as you saw earlier, I went on base to clothing and sales. I had to get a um, lightweight blue jacket that I can wear with my dress blues. So I needed that because the last duty day of every month, we have to wear our dress blues and that's even on night shift. So I'll go in with my dress blues and then I'll change into my scrubs because unlike when I have my ABUs on, I can kind of sit around on the unit whether I have a patient or not in my ABUs. But in my dress blues, that's more formal and I don't want to sit around on the unit in my dress blues. So I will change into scrubs. But I needed a uh, lightweight, the outer jacket because it's starting to get cold here and I needed to have a jacket. I'm not going to wear my service coat because you don't always want to get super formal and wear your service coat. So I just wanted to get the lightweight jacket. So um, I did that and then I also went to TJ Maxx. I'll show you guys um, a couple purchases that I bought. Then I bought a couple other things um, like Christmas gifts or whatever. So I bought these um, lip masks. I've already taken them out of the box. You guys know I'm a huge fan of lip masks. It helps keep my lips like super soft and plump and luscious. Yes, luscious lips. <laughs> um, look how cute, guys. Look at this. He's exhausted. How cute. Oh my gosh. My babies. Look how cute. Okay, anyways. And then I bought this really cute um, winter vest. Um, this was like a huge deal. Like this was North Face. The North Face. Um, and it's one of their thermal vests so it's like this hunter green and then it has like this sherpa wool up here super super cute so i was like yes let me snatch this up for myself and then this is the lightweight outer jacket that i will wear with my dress blues and it does have the insulated liner which is removable 
if I wanted to remove it. So I got this. And then, of course, I had to get the corresponding hard rank. So this is second lieutenant hard rank. And then I'm going to go through and just put the rank on where it needs to go. So I was referring to my handy dandy wear it right quick uniform reference guide just to look here um, at the um, lightweight blue jacket for officers. The rank insignia is going to be 5 eighths of an inch from the end of the epaulet and then parallel with the sleeve seam. So you'll see right here, this is your epaulet. And then it will be 5 eighths of an inch from the end seam here and then parallel with this seam. So that's what I'm going to do. I have my handy dandy tape measure. And then you guys are going to laugh because I'm not that good at measurements. I also have a measuring guide online. So I'm going to go through and get my hard rank put on. It's cold as December. I got my second lieutenant hard rank on there. Hopefully it is within the 5 eighths of an inch parallel to the seam. Luckily I'm on night shift. I really don't have to run into leadership, but if I do, of course, um, leadership is pretty chill and they'll just kind of let me know. And of course I'm going to ask when I get there on night shift, hey, can somebody make sure I have this on correctly? So if I have to wear it out during the day, um, your girl will be spot on. So this is it, guys. Like I said, uniforms are expensive. I paid $82 for this. Um, and then I paid six and some change for this little pack of hard rank, which comes in a set of two. So yeah, like I said, guys, uniforms are expensive. And I think I've talked about that in a couple of my videos already. All right, guys. So she is all ready to go in my closet for when I do need to wear her. My dress blues I leave in this bag this garment bag here um, so yeah these are my little low quarters my socks stay inside they're pretty shiny so I'm not gonna need to like reshine those or anything look at that shine so I just ran downstairs because I heard a knock on the door and it was FedEx delivering my package and I have um, my mom's Christmas gift in here the Fitbit charge to heart rate and fitness wristband. I got her the plum color. And then I bought my dad some Beats. I got him the Beats EP. I really don't know what the difference is. I just saw these, they were in all black. So I got him these. Excuse you. Rudeness, get off my wrapping paper. Thank you. There you go. So I'm gonna go through and wrap this stuff up really quick. Um, yeah, I got the over-the-ear beats for my dad because he can't wear the, like, other, he can't wear any other earphones that go in his ear because he has to wear these little mini hearing aids, so over-the-ear headphones work best for him, so I think he's really going to enjoy that, and then I think my mom is really going to enjoy this fitness band this Fitbit. She used to have one of the little ones that clip on your waist, but I think she'll really like this because she's really big into working out and wanting to know her heart rate and her steps and her calories and tracking to the point where she keeps like a little journal and she writes all that stuff down. I'm like, you're so extra. <laughs> so I think she's going to like this. Hmm. I would get me one, but I have the Apple Watch and I can do all that on there. So yeah, let's wrap. I'm like a sincerity, but you don't care at all. Miss booze, this cigarette's trying to take me home.
right guys, so I wrapped my presents and now I'm just gonna lay back and relax and I'm gonna do one of those lip masks that I showed you. Okay, I guess there's no protective lining that you have to take off. I guess I can just put it directly on my lips. Cold as December. 